Hi, here we are at Alpine Public Library. I'm Nan Jamison, and we're meeting with Lee Smith today, who's going to discuss a community-wide uh, book group project. So what we've done is we've asked uh, people in the community to read along with us, um, and we'll be reading this book, Lawrence Writes, at the end of October. And it's a, it's a thriller, um, it's a pandemic book which is a little spooky right now since we're still in the middle of a pandemic. But it's also, it's different from other thrillers because it's backed with um, a lot of research because he's a journalist, that's his primary thing. He's not primarily a novelist. But we're asking people to read it along with us, people in book clubs, and they can discuss the book in their own clubs, however they generally do that. But we'll also have opportunities for people to discuss the book here okay. at the library. We'll, um, we'll, we don't have any of those scheduled right now because we're going to see how many people want to participate and then we'll make, it, make that possible. And we've, um, we've also got, written up a reading guide that, um, that we, we've given people access to so they'll be able to get information about, um, about write his biography, information about the, the larger project that I can tell you about too, and then there's some um, reading questions that people can use. So um, that's available, it's on the website, so people can um, go to the website, um, I think it's one of the, the news articles and you can click through to read a little more about it. There's also information out on um, Facebook, Instagram, and um, we'll have posters around town, too. All right, so Lawrence Wright is an investigative journalist, correct? Right, right. And he wrote an article um, in early 2021 for The New Yorker called The Plague Year, which was a really, a really interesting deep dive into how these organizations like the CDC and the WHO and just a worldwide effort to right. Combat the plague, the plague being COVID nineteen, and so that the book was written before we actually entered into COVID nineteen, and then he kind of followed up with this article, right. which is real, which was a true story, right. you know, versus fiction. But the fiction novel is what we're going to read for our project here. That's right. The and the um, the New Yorker asked him to write that article. It's really long, but worth well worth reading. And then he turned it into a nonfiction book, which came out in June. And the library has that too, in case people want to read. But all of that research informs this book. Um, the, because he was meeting with the CDC and some of these other yes. people prior to COVID-19 right. ever appeared. Right. right, right. So he already had the contacts. And, yeah, yeah, he did. And he, what he says is it's a coincidence that this happened now, but it's not a coincidence that um, that um, it blossomed into the kind of uh, problem that we're facing okay. now. So it's very interesting to read the, the novel for that reason. Um, but this, as I said, this is part of a, of a larger project. It's funded by the American Library Association, a grant specifically for rural libraries. And so we're very lucky to get one of those. Yeah. And, um, we are partnering on this part of the project with Front Street Books. And on the larger project, which this is a part of, um, we are going to be um, having community conversations hosted by the library on healthcare resources here in our area, which most people, um, as most of the people that we've talked to assume that they are limited and that they've really been stressed during the, the, the pandemic. And with, on that part of the project, we're partnering with some healthcare professionals in the area, okay. which is um, a terrific boost. Um, you know, most of us see it from the perspectives of, the, of people who are trying to access care. But because we have these other partners, we'll be able to get the perspective of the people who are trying to provide health care to us. And that, I think, will make it possible for everybody to um, come to a wider understanding of, of, of the issues here in this neighborhood and then, or in this region, 
and then our goal, our ultimate goal is to share those impressions and experiences with people who can actually affect change, like people at the state and the county and the local government. Wow. So we'll, um, that's the, that's the larger project and um, we're using the book reading as a kind of jumping off point. Excellent. To, to engage people in conversation. Well, thank you, Lee, for writing the grant and um, starting this project and getting the community involved. We have copies of Lawrence Wright's book here at the library for a checkout. We also have a reading guide if you want to participate in the discussions. And we will have some copies of his article from The New Yorker in the library if you wanted to read that, The Plague Year from The New Yorker, uh, January 4th issue. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you at the library. Thank you.